What's up everyone, my name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel, Let's Player, and this is episode 6 of the Star Fox Adventures Let's Play. Tricky is an absolute nut. So this part is an awesome, like this chapter in the game is so great. Uh, it gives you a little puzzle you have to solve here. I mean, not very challenging at all. You just kind of have to spam Tricky's flame command and he like lights up this little statue thing. I love the music for uh, Dark Ice Mines. Like they play this like... I don't know what instrument it is. What is it, like a trombone? Do you ever notice how, like, in middle school and elementary school, like, the trombone was, like, a thing? And, like, ever since then, like, you just never hear about the, the trombone. It's, like, a lost instrument after, like, whenever you enter, like, adulthood. Anyway, uh, they, like, play that, and, like, in the music. It's, like, wah, 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 wah. It's, like, oh, my God, nostalgia meltdown. I love it. It's so corny and awesome. All right, so that should do it for the puzzle. They give us ample time to complete it. And uh, we get to enter this room, this super special room. I don't think I ever read the sign. Beyond the leap of faith lies an ancient prize. So there's the leap of faith. Super cool part here. I love this. Matrix. Yeah, when I was a little kid, this part like scared the crap out of me. It was like so like creepy and like weird. I was like, I don't want to die. It's really cool down there. It's like a, I don't even know what that is. It's like a galaxy. Pretty crazy. Alright, so now we get... I don't even know what this is. I think I said in the one episode, I said it was like a snow horn or something like that. I don't know if that's really what it's called or not. Whatever it is, we're really excited about it. This is the dinosaur horn. That's all it is. This is the dinosaur horn. You, the, the funny thing is, is, you never summon, like, a dinosaur with it. It's always, like, the the snow horns or mammoth. Mammoths. That, that sounds kind of weird. I feel like, I don't know, maybe... No, I'm, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. That would really weird. Would have sounded super uneducated. I'm, like, super low on, like, every item. I have zero fuel cells, one firefly, zero grub tubs, and two, like, blast seeds. I need to, uh... I need to go farm some stuff. May have to take it like a short break or intermission where I just go and uh, supply up. Stockpile. I think there's some grub tubs up here I can get. We don't have time for that. We gotta summon our buddy again. The no name character. No name sub character. I like totally forgot where this like thing was held. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm doing this game so backwards like I don't know what it is with this let's play I'm just so focused on the commentary that I'm like making weird little stupid mistakes so you have to go up here and use the uh the horn play a little tune we use this horn like way later in the game and after that we don't ever use it again it's kind of a uh, useless item for the most part I think we use it in one of the Krizoa tests like we have to uh Oh yeah, by the way, these, like, mushrooms are nocturnal. They, uh, or, um, not nocturnal. What is the, like, word for, like, what humans and, like, almost every species on the planet is? Like, the opposite of nocturnal. What is that? Maybe, I, hopefully no one, like, not everyone knows that, because I feel like that's, that's, like, an, an unknown thing. Uncommon for people to know that. Anyway, um, what they are is, well, apparently I'm getting off. What, uh, what I was trying to say was those, uh, grub tubs are, like, they, they fall asleep at night, and, uh, they're a lot easier to catch and, like, farm them. So we're back on the mammoth here, like, we're mounted up, and, uh, basically what we do is we're in a blizzard, they explain it here. To guide the snow run through a blizzard, he would need to be fed alpine roots, that's what they're called, as you explore. Look, look on the ground and walk over them to eat. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Um, I thought that there was an easter egg actually hidden during this little blizzard. Uh, I don't really know what happens if he does run out of, uh, energy. I think it just kind of fades to a black screen. Uh, it doesn't show, like, some epic cutscene of, like, everyone freezing to death. But yeah, you just have to, like, keep him fed and keep the, uh little life bar at the bottom up and uh, Tricky goes off running for whatever reason and gets lost in the blizzard but yeah I always wonder because like you can go off to the right here there's like two different paths you could see you could have went straight there or you could like make this right turn for some reason and like kind of go this like out of bounds route I, I totally forget if there if, maybe there is an easter egg here I can't remember it might just be a dead end and I have to turn around that would be terrible But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just like an, an extra long route. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. I don't know what the point of that is. They like put two paths in there for some reason. But yeah, that's just like a super long roundabout way to go. 
All right, so finally, we finally have, like, done all the little, like, courses and trials you have to do, like, to warm you up to the actual dark ice mines. We finally get to go down and enter the mine. And, uh, it's pretty messed up down there, I'm not gonna lie. They do recycle a lot of, uh, voice acting in this game. Like, that, that, whoever voices this guy does so many, like, more voices in this game. I wish we could, like, take him, the mammoth down there and, like, beat up the shark claw. That'd be pretty cool. Like, tusk him to death. Impale him. Alright, so finally, yeah, this is, like, the entrance to the mine. I'm greeted with a soul gate for whatever reason. Whoa, the camera went, like, super ham there for a second. Yeah, for some reason, like, they, they decided to make it so the analog stick, like, your aim would always return to the center in this game. So, like, it's kind of hard to aim, because you always are, like, fighting the, uh, the automatic, uh, repositioning on your, like, sights. So this part's cool, we get to, like, drive this old snowmobile jet ski around. This is where we were earlier, like, I don't think you can go, like, I'm gonna try and break the game here, I don't think it'll work, it's probably an invisible wall, yeah. I, like, if, the, if you were able to do that, I would totally be like, wow, the developers were totally asleep at the wheel, but, I mean, obviously, they, they know people are gonna try and do that type of stuff. Alright, so now we're in the mines. The, like, this is, uh... I'm not gonna lie to you, if they, I hope the camera quality picks up pretty good down here because this, like, type of lighting that you're seeing right now is what the, like, entire mine consists of. It's, like, this, like, dark red, like, earthy type style. And, I mean, I guess it's, like, makes sense. Like, you're down in the middle of this planet. And I always wonder that. If we went to, like, a different planet that was, like, like Earth, but, like, say that planet was called, like... I don't... I don't know. Any name. Like, but if... And you, like, were to dig up the soil, would that soil be called, like... Earth? Like, what would you call it? Would you call it, like, the planet, like, like, you know, whenever, like, you dig up, like, Earth, it's, like, certain... I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Like, the soil is, like, always referred to as Earth. And I wonder, like, if we would, like, still refer to it as Earth on another planet. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's a soul gate down here. I'm just, like, really concerned about my health, because, like, I never die in this Let's Play, and, uh, I, the very first time I ever did a, uh, like, a Let's Play for this game, I died, and it's so uncommon for me to die. I should have, I should rephrase that. I, I didn't, like, I'm not saying I'm not going to die in this Let's Play. I really hope I don't. I'm trying to, like, remain positive here. But, uh, in the first Let's Play I ever did of this game, um, I, I died, and it was so embarrassing, so now I'm, like, super paranoid. Alright, so I'm trying to do this in the correct order. I'm, I'm like, kind of getting turned around here a little bit. Yeah, the mines are, uh, they're all kind of, like, connected, the, the different set of mines. Like, that room we were just in, um, you get, you go up here, and this, like, overlooks a room that we're eventually going to be in. Like, you see all of this nonsense down there, like, we, oh my god, like, that was so intimidating to me as a kid, because I didn't know, like, what was going to, like, happen. And like, or, or what to do, really. Like, I was like, oh my god, there's so many puzzles I'm probably gonna have to solve. I'm gonna get run over by a freaking boulder. And yeah, you get, like, burned by the walls. The walls are, like, lava hot. Dang, that cannon is so annoying. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure this is a key. I hope it's not a cog. Alright, yeah, it's a key. But yeah, anyway, that room we're, like, looking over right now is, like, the main last big room. Sharp call prison cell key. I probably should have like shown you guys what we're trying to like achieve here. But it doesn't matter, we're like on our way to do it right now. Yeah, camera quality pickup in this level isn't like the best. Uh the next one we go to though is like super bright and like easy to see, so hopefully that helps out. This is terrible. They're just like torturing like the mammoth. I keep on wanting to say like mam mam eye or something like that. Mammoth eye. But I can't like figure out the word. Like you know, like cacti is like that's the plural of cact cactus. It's, so like I don't know why my mind wants to like make me think that way. I'm being a little too careless with my health. Because like I it is very heavy in this game, but like I'm I'm kinda like 
clown in it a little bit now. I need to like take my time. Alright, so we finally freed Tricky. And no cutscene happens. You have to like actually go up to him and like press A. As far as I know, you have to press A. I'm not trying to like beat him to death. I don't know what's going on. Come on, dude. Alright, there we go. I don't know what was happening there. It wasn't like unlocking him from. I lost you in the blizzard. Some shop claws found me and threw me in that stinky cell. Alright, dude, well. Please don't run off anymore, because every time you run off, like, trouble ensues. Alright, so there's, like, no way to get out of here, like, without getting burned. You, like, you have to run through these things, and there's, like, there's no true exit. Alright, so the other key, I'm pretty sure, is over here. Hurry up, dude. I'm just always so low on, uh, grub tubs. And, uh, after that, I'm pretty sure it's, like, the last big room we get to head into. I don't think I've ever done this room so fast. I mean, not that it's, like, by any means complicated. Alright, so we got the final shackle key. All the keys pretty much look the same in this. Like, I, I don't really know if there's any boss keys in this game, but uh, I'm pretty sure that every key, like, looks, like, has that design. But the skin over top, or, like, the color of them is always different. I don't know if the color has any justification on how important it is. Alright, so now we finally get to free... Belina. The gatekeeper's daughter. And I'm pretty sure a cutscene ensues here. Nope, we have to trigger it. Who are you? I am Fox, and this is the crown prince of the Earthwalkers. We've been sent by the Snowhorn Gatekeeper to find the Spellstone. Do you know where it's hidden? My name is Belina Tay. The Gatekeeper is my father. Did he send you to rescue me? I I'm sorry, Belina. But he feels you have betrayed the beliefs of why the would, Why would Fox not just lie? We were only sent to find the Spellstone. The old fool. I had to save the tribe. If it wasn't for my father being a Gatekeeper, none of this would have happened in the first place. See, I don't know why he wouldn't just lie and just be like, oh yeah, your father was like trying to send us to rescue you. Instead of like being blunt with her like that. And then she ruins everything. supposed to go this is pretty obvious here that like you this is where you're supposed to head down I got stuck on this part of the game so bad the very first time I played this oh my god I could not figure it out I, I guess my my Zelda skills weren't sharpened by this point so uh we have to do is like look up here and I didn't understand that and like you can obviously see these certain ones are like discolored and don't match the others but, uh, I mean, that's the one good thing about video games. Whenever you're stuck on something for so long, and, like, you're finally able to, like, solve the puzzle, it's, like, such a, like, feeling of accomplishment. I don't know, but, like, whenever you're older, it means nothing, and, like, stuff like this wouldn't, doesn't really mean anything. But, like, I don't know, it just, it totally makes an entire different, like, I don't know what the word is, but it totally changes your childhood. And I feel like it, like, I'm getting kind of deep here, but it, it, like, totally, like, improves your adulthood because you were improved as a child. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just rambling now. Anyway, the episode, guys, is coming to a close anyway. Um, we're about to head out to the bottom of the mine. This is gonna get nuts. I can assure you the next episode, I don't know if we're gonna be facing the boss or not, but uh, either way, it's gonna be lit. 